okay, why is it so hard to follow Jesus? Shouldn't following Jesus be automatic? Sometimes when you hear Christians talking about their faith, it feels like they're just, you know, floating from glory to glory. Well, hmm, is that so? So let's talk about it as we review yesterday's sermon and bring it to application in every day of our lives. Um, yesterday was about Philippians 1 verse 6 and the context surrounding it. Verse 6 says this, I am sure of this, dear Philippians, that he who began a good work in you guys, I'm adding the guys because you is plural, will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. That's the verse. And Paul basically says, God starts a work in you. He brings you into his kingdom. That's called salvation. Then goes on. There's another process called sanctification, where you and I grow more and more in the likeness of Jesus Christ. And one day where we meet Jesus, it's called glorification, where we meet Jesus and become like him 100%. And, and we will get to that, that finish line because here's the decisive factor. If he started it, he will complete it. And that makes Paul so happy. He does not shy away from saying that it is work to follow Jesus. First of all, the greeting of Philippians says, Paul and Timothy, servants, actually slaves of Jesus Christ. He, they are working hard. And then later on, when he says in verse 3, I thank my God about you all every time I pray for you, etc., etc., he says, why is he work so happy about them? Well, because of your partnership in the gospel. Now, partnering in the gospel, that, that is work. And the gospel is this story that Jesus came from heaven to us, emptied himself from his glory, became a human like you and us, suffered, endured, and enjoyed everything that we have in this world, and then died, served us to the, to the very end, and rose again, again on the third day. That's the gospel story. And later on in, in Philippians 2, he's going to sing this ancient uh, first century Christian song that actually shares the whole gospel in one song. So that is what we get to do. Reenact his story. Live the way Jesus lived. And so this is going to cost us something. Like part of the gospel, ooh, that is costly. Why? Because it's, it's something so worthy and so, so... Um, I would say if, it's a, if it would be a product, we would say it's such good quality. Or it's a luxury product, right? It's, it's something excellent. Well, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Now then later on, after verse 6, he says, it is right for me to feel this way about you guys, like happy and confident, because I hold you in my heart for you're all partakers. Here it is again. You know, we're, we partake in the gospel, partakers with me of the grace both in my imprisonment, hmm? that doesn't sound effortless, and in the def defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. Paul it has the affection of Jesus for those people. That should be worth something, you know? Having the love of Jesus in you for other people. Wow, imagine having that. And it is my prayer that you also your love may abound more and more, having more love than people would ever expect you to have, with knowledge and discernment. Yeah, that should be worth it, right? So that you may prove what is excellent and so pure, be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. It is worth it. That's why it costs us something. That's the short answer. The gospel story reenacted is the gospel story. And it is filled with sacrifice, but it's also filled with glory. And it's filled with growth. It's filled with adventure. And that's worth it. That's so worth it. It's better than a boring life that doesn't go anywhere. Right? This is why it costs you. Now, application questions. I have a few seconds left. Share in your group, what has God been working on you? Where are you partnering with God right now in your own life? That could be forgiving somebody. That is hard work. It could be praying for somebody. That is hard work. It's going through suffering with God. That is hard work. I don't know what you're going through. It's learning things. That could be a work that God is doing in you right now. And then share it together. And you might, you might find a common thread where you feel like God is working in the plural us, right? In the plural you. 
What, what is he going to do? And then praise him for it, pray for each other, bless each other, and strengthen each other in your faith. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful week.